Here we have just an outstanding mastodon or mammoth paleoproboscidean. And we have that mammoth facing left. That trunk is very cool coming off to the left here. And that eye was a natural hole, but it's been beveled. It's been beveled in paleo times to enhance that eye. And uh, that is a beautiful, very nice mammoth image uh, now facing left. Just a really outstanding mammoth image. And of course you see the eye and the nose and the mouth down here of the face now looking off to the right, which is looking up from the back of the mammoth. So that's typical that you would find a face image looking up from the back of the mammoth, the human face, with this the eye, this the nose here, and the mouth down here. And that's all been flaked in paleo times there. What this is, is it's a, a fossiliferous limestone that has a chert encased into it. So this is chert uh, with a uh, limestone matrix. And it's from Middle Tennessee. It's from the Piney River area, I believe, of Middle Tennessee, um, found in a creek, uh, in a creek along a creek. There's a paleo site along a creek. Now, check out that mastodon, mammoth, proboscidean, facing right. This is the exaggerated eye on this side now. So that eye is exaggerated. That's all been flaked, all that, uh, all that church been flaked to form this image. And uh, what a great image it is. Then when you hold it this way, now we have a face looking off to the left. And when we hold it this way, we have a face now looking off to the right. Maybe wearing some kind of headgear. Also a face looking off to the left as well there and to the right and then a face looking off to the right and the left. This is the older face here. And this is the younger face. So just a great mammoth image there. We have another excellent one here. This also, these are all from Tennessee. This is a, a, a mammoth looking off to the right now. And uh, this is a natural hole for the mammoth looking off to the right these are the two hair tufts above the head, which is typical. You would see uh, normally two hair tufts, or at least one big hair tuft, uh, on almost all of these effigies. And then you have another eye of a mammoth that's actually been engraved into the stone. And that's the more mature mammoth with its long sweeping trunk coming down here, and that's its eye. So we have a baby mammoth image with this, the eye, its little trunk over here. This eye has been engraved in purposefully and then the trunk is all, look, it's like an ax. They made it in almost like the form of an ax, but, the, but it's an effigy. There's no usage wear on that ax blade. They just flaked it that way to image the mammoth. Now we have a mammoth looking off to the left, a great mammoth looking off to the left. Again, this is a mature mammoth. And mature mammoth, and then the baby mammoth with this, the exaggerated eye here. And then we have great faces. We have uh, eye, nose, and mouth of a face looking off to the right. We have another face, a young face uh, with the eye, the nose, and mouth down below looking off to the left. Then we have another face looking up from the back of the mammoth here with this, the eye that's been gouged in there. And the nose and the mouth looking up from the back of the mammoth. That's been all engraved and, and gouged in there as well for another face. That's an eye of a face, a nose and a mouth, now looking off to the right. So the profiles are very nice on this piece. A lot of, a lot of work really went into this. And then when we hold it this way, now we have the baby mammoth image with its little trunk off to the right. We turn it over. We have the same baby mammoth image now with his trunk off to the left. The hair looks like it's been a little bit engraved there, but it's been worn out over a period of time. This does have some engraving on it, but engraving and etching is not uncommon on flaked 
paleo effigy stones. So there we have it, another great image. Here we have another one. This one stands up like many do. And that's a mammoth now facing left. So now we have a great mammoth facing left. And we have a face with the eye, nose, and mouth looking up from the back of the mammoth. And then we have an, another great mammoth image there. Wow. All the curly hair up above its trunk there and on top of its head. Very well flaked and engraved in there. And then, of course, we have the natural hole there and this hole that's been exaggerated some. And we have faces, of course, looking up from the back of the mammoth, an old droopy nose there. We have another face looking off to the left there. I'm, I'm trying to go fast because I don't want this video to be too long. I've got a number of pieces that have come from Middle Tennessee here. Here's a baby mammoth now looking off to the right. Just a great image of a baby mammoth looking off to the right. Moving right along, we've got another one here that's a, just another great mammoth image there. Now we have a mammoth facing right. But the cool one here is this eye has been totally engraved in there. And this is a cool mammoth looking off to the left with its big trunk there. So that's a mature mammoth right there with the hair tuft above the head and just a real cool trunk off to the left there. Looks like it has some engraving on it. And then, of course, um, on this side here, we have another example of that mammoth now and it's facing right. And then we have the faces as well, facing left there and uh, facing right here. Great mammoth imagery on that piece, a very nice one on that piece right there. And then we have this bowl. This is a very cool paleo bowl. There's a shell fossil right in the middle of it there. That's actually a shell fossil. As we know, limestone is part of an ancient seabed. And what the Paleo Indians did is they dished this out here just to show that, uh, that shell fossil to be the eye of the face looking off to the right and also the face looking off to the left. And then we have the mammoth image this way here off to the right with a big sweeping trunk and the face looking up from the back of the mammoth. So this paleo bowl, these all come together from Middle Tennessee. They were all found in the same general paleolithic location there, paleo, uh, paleo site along a creek bed in Middle Tennessee. Look at that face there. That is so cool, and it's a dish. They may have used this dish for a number of purposes, probably, no doubt used it. Uh, it could have even been an oil lamp or it could have been just for putting grain or, or nuts or what have you in it, I don't know. But um, it's a cool little bowl. And then on this side, it's just smooth with a mammoth facing right there. And another one now facing off to the left. Just some really cool um, brown shirt artifacts from uh, Middle Tennessee. Paleo, Story Stone, Mastodon, Mammoth, Probosidian images, as well as face, human face images.